when I peeled this spill lid, it's more like aluminum foil. <laughs> I don't know if you hate that or love that. Do it again, you liked that? Weirdos. Today I would just like to do some nail art. Who is she? Menchie's still wearing donut nails, you know, but we've moved on. We've moved on from uh, the glazed donut trend to the chrome trend. We've got the new One Coat Chrome Collection, which I mentioned in last stream is really good for nail art because it's really opaque. So like this, for example, it's just like one swipe of World's First, the new silver over top of black, and this is like the opposite. Do some fun things with it and put less effort because I don't need to trace on the lines more than once. I definitely overstated or like was a bit misleading about how like Glossy Taco takes away the shine. I feel like I'm always trying to make sure that the customer has as much information as possible and we're like the most transparent that sometimes maybe I overdo it. A lot of people have come out since using it and being and have said like the glossy taco, like it still looks fine, it's still shiny. But you know, just me being overly cautious and trying to give the most information. I gave too much information. Like another one is how long it lasts. We made sure to be transparent that this product, this type of formula may not be as long lasting as like, you know, the average linear hollow or creme, for example. But I think people misinterpreted that as like, oh, it's only gonna last a day instead of like seven and like, that's probably not true either. I think this was really interesting because I, I peeled this nail polish lid. I'm sorry that I peeled it already. I know, it's gonna be a TikTok, okay? When I peeled this spill lid, it's very thin as opposed to like when I do a hollow glitter spill or a linear hollow, it's gonna be thicker. I don't know if you hate that or love that. It's more like aluminum foil. <laughs> do it again, you liked that? Okay. Weirdos. Yeah. Get ready. <laughs> <gasps> no! I broke it! Okay, but there you go. <laughs> Do you see what I mean? Like, it's such a, a very different fragile formula, I guess. <laughs> it's literally like foil, what the heck? Okay, Chris always prefers to be transparent as opposed to opaque and prefers the polish is opaque and not transparent. Got it. <laughs> So that's a good one, that's a good one. What's on my other hand? Pinky swear you won't tell anyone, okay? Thanks. Okay, so first I would take my quick dry base coat, which is the new base coat that was designed and formulated to be used with the chromes, dries down with like a bit of a slick grip as it's meant to anchor the chrome formula. The purple tint isn't seen on the nail, it's purely cosmetic just to, well, I mean, this is all cosmetic. <laughs> Uh, the purple tint helps differentiate it just so you, you like know what you're reaching for. When you buy the collection box, it comes with the base coat, not like physically in the box, just with it. Now I'll put one layer of chrome down. I'm using World's First, which is the silver one. Painting in the air is hard. I don't know how Instagram girls do it. Like, what are you doing? How do you paint in the air? So now I'm gonna take protective peel to protect the skin while we do a blendy, blendy, wendy. Since we're here, I like to put on like a lot. The thicker you lay it on, the easier it is to peel off. I'm gonna try a gradient, but I don't know if it's gonna work because it's like the sponge stipples into the chrome and it disrupts its shiny layer. Okay, I'm gonna try and gradient using these three. We're gonna see if it works. Start with uh, the lightest one. You gotta do this really quickly because the chromes dry quickly into the sponge. I gotta do a little quick flip. Loop this way, quick, quick, quick. See what I mean? Like they get dull cause you're like jabbing them. That's what I don't understand how someone did it. Maybe the secret is doing like a second coat. So let's do this again, I'm gonna do a second coat. Okay, did I succeed? You know what, it's not as, it's not so bad. It's a little bit dull. Let me just do a little bit of cleanup. Okay, I'm gonna add a glossy taco on this because I think maybe that might help blur and blend a little, but like it, it doesn't look as bad as when I first tried it, but it is less chromey than before. You can see the particles more in the gradient. That's a great way to put it, yeah. Because we disrupted the particles by like stabbing them repeatedly. So what else can I do? All right, I have a couple options. 
once. I want to try this, but do a better job of it than I did on this wheel. I think we could easily do a dotted care and then I'd like to do a line work. What if I do a skittle mani of a couple different things? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, I just, I made up my mind for me. <laughs> I think the accent nail should be this one. It'll be a black base. So on the black base nail, I'll just put down a regular base coat. So I just put smoothing base on this nail because I'm gonna go in with one coat black here. On the other nails, the quick dry base because I'm gonna do a chrome layer first and we'll just kind of figure out what we're gonna do there. Here, I've got one coat black. It's all about the one coat polishes today. I'm gonna apply that on this nail. Just a little cuticle cleanup. And I'm just gonna use it as the base to do chrome nail art on top. So let's make the dotted here my pointer. Let's paint this nail in the purple one first, and then I'm gonna do the other colors on top. This is Iron Violet. Just the application is just so good. It's just so delicious. It's so good that it looks like you you should be eating it, but you shouldn't, you know what I mean? So on my pinky, what? that's the only one I haven't decided. Maybe we just do like a quick little dry brush. That one, let's put down teal. Just, I'm trying to make it balanced. Oh, I flooded it. Oh, I flooded the pool with aquafoil because the wide brush is too thick for my skinny pinky. On, I was gonna do a dot here on this guy. I'm gonna make it look 3D. So I'm gonna do black. So I'm just throwing that down just cause it's easier to do it this way. I mean, my dotting tools. Let's get the biggest one. This guy looks like the biggest one. I'm just putting it in and getting it really nicely coated, making sure it's a big, a big dollop. And then I'm gonna let that just dry down a little bit cause then I'm gonna do chrome dots on top of it, but slightly move it over by like a couple millimeters. Now let's do some line work. I'm gonna take my striping brush one color at a time cause it will dry up quickly. Look at that little chrome puddle, woo, shiny. And then I'm just gonna saturate my striping brush. You can do a little practice round, just like that. I'm just freehand in it. See? It's just like one coat, pretty easy. Because it's so opaque, you can do this kind of thing with it. I'm just rinsing this off so I can swap colors. By rinsing it, I mean dipping it in acetone. Trophy Life, my second color, and just do some added line work in there. Get on, make sure the brush is saturated so you're getting like a nicer line. And then now let's go back. And just kind of freestyle it. It's got some kind of random line work here just to kind of pull two colors together so it looks like they were meant to be, you know, on the same manicure. If you have shaky hands and you wanna do nail art, I think it's a lot easier to work with a long skinny brush, like a striping brush, because you can drag it. Whereas if you're using a shorter brush, just pretend this is a nail art brush, it's harder to keep that steady because you can't drag it for as long in the same place. So personally for freehand work, I prefer doing like straighter curvy lines with a long skinny striping brush. I'm gonna do a little bit of a dry brush on this guy. I'm kind of feeling like, let's just try a dry brush. I'm a little bit inspired. So what if I do a little bit of black actually? Yeah, just like, he okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. Way too opaque black. And I'm gonna get it off. So it's just a little bit on the brush. Now let's see if this works. I have like nothing. Okay, that, that was not enough. <laughs> kind of looks like splatter. That's that's just enough there, okay? Kind of like grungy, kind of cool, right? Just to tie it into the others. I actually, I kind of like that. Why does that look good? I'm gonna do the same thing with the silver chrome because it would be the most contrasty with aquafoil and just kind of like get it off. Look, there's so much. Get it off the brush, get off the brush. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna kinda use the black. That's so nice! Wow. I should have done a bigger nail. And then I will stop. Okay, now we're, let's do the dot here since I have the world's first. Fresh new little puddle. You gotta have a fresh puddle. I'm gonna take the same size dotting tool. Some people use smaller. I just like to use the same size. Dip in, get it fully covered. You gotta work quickly. Quicker than me, I was talking too much. And I'm gonna place it on the same location of the black dot, but slightly over. But see how it has like a three, it's like a shadow. That's how you make shadows. Rather than freehand painting a circle. Cause good luck freehand painting a circle with a shadow, that perfect. Okay, you need to be talented nail artist to do that. <laughs> this is the, the regular person hack to do the same effect. And now let's go ahead and tackle this nail. 
So my goal is to do the cascading coats one on top of the other. I don't think I'm gonna get all five. That might be a little bit of overkill trying to do them all. Let's do trophy life next. There, that's it. That's all I'm doing. Just one coat. Basically created an inverse French tip, a cuticle tip. This would not be possible with another, uh, you know, like a linear hollow of this color because the coverage is just, it's gonna need two to three coats for opacity. So I really like these for nail art for this reason. Cause like, I don't need to worry about which color has to be the base because I'm limited by the opacity. <laughs> The coverage keeps shocking me no matter how many times I see it. I'll keep showing you BB shrimp. So with this technique though, if you're layering chromes on top of chromes like this, or even over the black, you just wanna make sure it's dry. Cause if, you, if I went back like too early, I'm gonna pick it up. When I first tried Polish Mountain, I did a layer and then I like was impatient. I'm like, I'm gonna keep going. And then it just got so wet and it piled up. Yeah, we don't want that. So you have to make sure it's dry in between each coat. How did you do that with one stroke? Um, a little bit of practice, not gonna lie. You know, I think with practice, you can kind of get good at that. Also the wide brush in these means you're gonna have a wider coverage area. Wouldn't really be able to do this on my pinky. It'd be much trickier. And watch, it's gonna get trickier as I try and make it smaller. I'm gonna do my best like not to flare the brush out on the next step. So this looks dry to me. So I'm gonna go in with a different color, aquafoil, and then I could end with world's first maybe. I don't need the pink because I have two pinks here. Okay, let's try. Everyone hold your breath. I'm gonna try because this is the thick brush. Oh, okay, we did it. We did it and it looks good. Okay, that's me like not pressing down as heavily, right? So I'm flaring the brush less cause I'm just like more gently floating it. We got one more chance. And maybe if I turn the brush kind of on its side, I could do the last one. But like, this is really cool. Like how easy is this if you can hold your hand steady? <laughs> but what a cute Skittle this is turning out to be. You love the vibes on the ring finger. We should do a poll of what's your favorite thingy. Typing with one hand. I'm gonna skip the thumb since we only have four options. Susan, I didn't include the gradient cause like I didn't really think it turned out that well. I really like the pinky. I just think it's different. It's kind of grungy, metallic. It reminds me of um, almost like a turquoise stone, maybe with a bit more black flex than usual. And it's, it's really easy to do. This kind of thing doesn't really re require talent and you can have a shaky hand. The only thing you have to worry about is making sure that you don't have too much on the brush. Voting your fave fingy. 52% like the ring finger, interesting. So I think you guys pick like the hardest one. I assume this would be the trickiest for most people. But yeah, that's definitely an overwhelming winner. And I've got a, a somewhat split with the middle and the pinky. And no one likes the dot here. <laughs> All right, okay, let's do the final challenge. I'm gonna take worlds first and try and paint a skinnier line in this cascade. I did too much. Oh, it's kind of lopsided. No! You breathed? It's your fault, Aiden, you breathed. I did fly too close to the sun. You know, it looked great with just the three and I was like, no, I must do more. <laughs> like, uh, see how it's too far on that side here? If I take off the shine, you can really see. <laughs> like I could try and fix it by painting a skinny line of aquafoil to even it out. But I do think you're gonna see that. And by see it, I mean like once you start painting in singular lines, you're gonna see it no longer look like that single wash of chrome layer. It looks like a jawbreaker. They look so good together. It's not too bad. Okay, maybe it's not too bad. We're just being crazy over here. Okay, let's add a glossy taco. Now with any line work ones, or even the dotted here where the black was put on thick, I just wanna make sure I float the glossy taco. Sometimes I forget and then I do it and then one nail is like uh, like streaky or, or a little bit of bleeding, but then I remember on the other nails. <laughs> so let that sit for just a minute. Menchie, what do you think? I require lunch, mother. She likes it. Aww. She's, ne she's lunch, not, she's never lunch, leaving. Lunch, okay, yes, lunch, I know. Lunch. All right, everybody. What do you think? What do you think? What do you think? See how the glossy taco has now settled a bit so it's looking chromey again? I don't think that the gradient looks the best. I mean, it's fine, but it's definitely more of a diffused chrome. This is so cute. 
very skittle manny very fun shows you different things you can do with the chromes and then there's many more things you can do with the chromes that i'm not gonna do like water marble and stamping if you're at that skill level then i invite you to go ahead and do those things she's like very in love right now can you know what i mean snacks? and floppy she's like a floppy disk you know maybe that's what my computer is missing i just got to put menchie in my computer menchie you're gonna flop right in okay you little floppy disk i know she's the real hero of this stream thanks so much for watching we'll see y'all later